We sent Cattlemen to Cattlemen reporter Russell Nemitz to Phoenix to help blaze the trail for us. And we begin with an overview of some of the outstanding, unique experiences Phoenix has to offer. Russell? Well, Kevin, I sure hope others will join you, myself, Lane Nordland, and the entire Cattlemen to Cattlemen crew here in Phoenix, January 31st through February 2nd for the 2018 Cattle Industry Convention and in CBA Trade Show. And as have we, we've been discussing, there's plenty to do, not only at the convention, but really the entire Phoenix area. And to share more of the details of exactly that, we have Tammy Vo from the city of Phoenix with us today. And gosh, you you guys are excited to bring cattlemen and cattlewomen back to the Valley of the Sun. Let's start with the convention center because for folks that haven't been to downtown Phoenix for quite some time, this place has really changed. It has and let me just start by saying if you haven't been to Phoenix lately, you haven't been to Phoenix. I mean we're standing right now in the Mecca of downtown and if you haven't been here in a couple years just taking a look around, it looks totally different. I think 2009 was the last time the cattle industry convention and NCBA trade show was right here in downtown Phoenix. And for the convention center itself, there's a lot of newness here. It's a beautiful facility. And if you walk and you kind of feel, um, one of our major tools here is the sun, right? You walk and you feel the sunlight throughout. It's really reflective of the Sonoran Desert. So you'll walk in and kind of just feel those patterns and that feeling um, as you walk through the facility. It's a gorgeous facility. You know, one of the draws of Phoenix during the winter time is obviously the temperatures. And boy, you talk about the end of January, the 1st of February, the temperatures are going to be just right. That Goldilocks forecast, if you will, <laughs> not too hot, not too cold, just just right. Well, we get over 300 days of sunshine here <laughs> in Phoenix per year. February, the average temperature is going to be in the low 70s. So as a lot of your members are probably digging out of the snow, trying to get on that plane to get here to Phoenix, make sure they pack two things, okay? <laughs> Flip-flops and shorts, because when they get here, they're going to need it. The weather's gonna be gorgeous. Absolutely. Now, for folks that may not be taking in all of the convention activities uh, all day long, there's certainly a lot of local attractions here that appeal to the entire family. Yeah, let's talk to a, uh, about a couple different options for you. So if you're a family, there are a lot of things for the kids. There is um, the Children's Museum, that's within walking distance. There's the Arizona Science Center, which is for kids, that's within walking distance. Um, maybe you wanna to head to the zoo, that's not too far away. The weather outside's gonna be perfect that time of year. Also, there's sporting events downtown. Maybe your kids wanna catch a game, maybe they wanna catch an NBA game. There's the Phoenix Suns, which they could walk to right in the downtown area. Maybe catch a hockey game as well. Spring training's also coming up that time of year. So a lot of family fun activities. Well, I know one thing, those of us in agriculture, what we really like to do too on trips like this is eat and I understand Me there's too. a plenty of great restaurants and steakhouses that well quite frankly serve up one of our favorite proteins and that's beef you know, downtown Phoenix and Phoenix in general can be a foodies paradise so you talk about the beef but I have a feeling maybe some of your members might want to venture off and try something different. Um, of course, we're known for our killer Mexican food. And downtown, there are so many different types of cuisines for different palates. We have a ton of award-winning restaurants here within walking distance. Love that. I do. I absolutely love that. Hey, before we let you go, I mean, talk about the fact that one of America's uh, pristine treasures is really just a few miles away, so to speak. Of course, we're talking about the beautiful Grand Canyon. And if folks have a little bit of extra time, they may want to put that on their travel plan. I think it's a great idea to make a trip, a weekend, um, if not longer, out of this visit to the Phoenix area. Just over three hours away, you can head up to the Grand Canyon. It is majestic if you've never been there. You, you look at pictures, but it just does not do it justice. So absolutely, that's one suggestion. You could do a day trip, you could do overnight, and you will not be not be sad that you did that. Also, I should mention golfing. I don't know if any of your members golf, but we have some of the best award-winning 
horses here in the country. The weather's going to be gorgeous. And not only that, the Waste Management Open, if you want to watch golf and not play, is also going on that weekend. You could enjoy that as well. Hey, Tammy, one more question uh, before we truly let you go. I mean, you've rattled off quite a few things for all of us to do the end of January and the 1st of February when we're back here in Phoenix. Uh, as we make our travel plans, is there an easy online resource tool that you folks at the City of Phoenix make available so we can make our travel plans? Sure. You know, um, the city's website is a great resource, phoenix.gov. It has a lot of the information on there about, and it'll link you to our airport, Sky Harbor International Airport. So that's a great resource. Also, Visit Phoenix is another organization locally who will help a lot of your members get here. So we are so excited to welcome all the members for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association to our great city, the fifth largest city in the world. Come on down. We're excited to have everyone here. Well, we appreciate you taking a little bit of time to join us on Cattlemen to Cattlemen to give us such a wonderful preview. Thank you so much. Are you enjoying it? Are you excited? We love it. Absolutely love it. So we'll see you back Born here. Born and raised here. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> We're we'll not disappointed. <laughs> we'll see you back here, Tammy. And for you, Kevin, I know those white pasty cowboy legs of yours don't get a whole lot of sun. So make sure you pack plenty of sunscreen and don't forget to throw in those flip flops and shorts that Tammy Vo mentioned during this segment. Again, we invite everybody to blaze a trail here to beautiful Phoenix, Arizona for the 2018 cattle industry convention and in cba trade show and with that we'll go ahead and send it back to you in the studio